jealous for me. Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree. God bless you guys for joining me at Harvest and Light Church and Harvest and Light Studios here in the center of Dallas. We're going to be cranking it up and getting started here in just a moment. For those who are joining us here um, at our actually Harvest and Light Station here in the city of Dallas. And this afternoon here in the city of Dallas, as I said, don't want to be redundant here. But I want to let you guys know if you want to join us and be a part of the show, which is going live, you can catch us on any of your social networks. All you have to do is probably click on the icon or one of the actual flyers that we put out in terms of what's going on with the show and dealing with this area of the seven laws of the kingdom of God. I want you guys to know that those who come in by cell phones, uh, androids, or whatever you may have in terms of desktops, uh, laptops, you want to go to the speaker broadcast. You want to go to the app store. It depends on what uh, type of application you're using. You want to load that application in. And as you load that application in, you want to go to uh, Charles Ellis. Well, actually, you're going to actually load in Spreaker.com. And then you want to get it loaded in. You want to go to the search bar. You want to put in Charles Ellis. You want to choose a picture of me and my beautiful little daughter sitting there. I got a pinstripe black suit on. And it should bring you right into the program. For those of you just coming in Spreaker Direct, you want to just go to the actual um, header and go to the live shows. And you'll see Harvest New Life Church and Harvest New Life Studios here in the city of Dallas. And it shouldn't say live, you know, you can catch it by your internet, Facebook, uh, Ping, Boxster, you know, whatever social platform you desire. We own about 20 different platforms. You should catch us on either one of them. But I'll let you guys know we're going to finish up there, just kind of finish it up. We're going to continue to go into that series we're dealing out uh, the area of uh, the seven laws of the kingdom. And one of the things we're dealing with on tonight is we're going to be dealing with the area of uh, the seed. We want to go into the dominion part, but it looks like the seed is going to take quite a bit of time to get the information to you concerning uh, about dealing with the areas of uh, seed time and harvest. And I think it's quite a bit of information we're going to share on this afternoon, dealing with that area part of the scripture. But we're going to let the music solidify itself. Here's a bit, as I always say. I mean to get you prepared and get you ready. We're pretty much going to be starting over in the book of Genesis in that chapter 8. And we're going to be kind of flexing back and forth to some of the very areas of scriptures and kind of getting some real understanding about what it is about uh, we ever wondered, you know, why is it that, 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 that the law, why is the, the law of sowing the reaping so important, in other words? And we're going to ramble off and talk about some of the stuff dealing with the area of how uh, we as men and women of God uh, as we continue to reap, we ought to be able to sow. And when we sow, we understand that the harvest is going to come back to us. But we're going to get started here in just a minute. But uh, I want you guys to go ahead and listen in and, and just kind of let the music uh, just settle itself. Get your spirits together. Pray. Anoint your head with oil. Come before your, you know, everything you do in terms of coming to that priestly position. And next time you hear my voice, we're going to open up with prayer. And we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. God bless you guys for joining us once again. It's always a pleasure. Oh! 
God bless you guys this morning. Thank you for joining me here at Harvest New Life Church and Harvest New Life Studios. We're going to get right into this word this morning. It's always a blessing to you guys to be able to join us on this morning. You see such a beautiful day that God has created. It wasn't anything that we had done but to open our mouth and thank God for the opportunity to rise up this morning to see a day which we have never seen before. We're going to deal with the area of vision, which is what God talks about, and it talks about to, uh, to his prophet Habakkuk. Write the vision on the wall. Make a plain for all to see. You know, they come at a point in time, you know, don't worry about it. It may tarry for a minute, but you got to have the faith to believe that it will do what it's designed to do. We're going to be right back with you in just a moment. We're going to let the music kind of solidify itself. We're going to move forward with this powerful word. Father God, we thank you, we bless you, we honor for this opportunity to come on the stage once again, just to kind of hear the word that's coming from the kingdom of God. Father God, we're asking you, under the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, is that we continue to let ourselves be, uh, as we say, ruled over to you, as being a servant, and, uh, to be the conduit, as I would say, that you want us to be in a season that we're in, or the time that we're coming before your throne. And Father God, even as I begin to lift up my voice, Father God, let every word that proceeded out of my mouth be a word to go forth. Let it be a word that will not go back void. But Father God, let it accomplish in all that therein. Father God, I believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that even as I begin to speak, Father God, you'll, lose you, you'll use me, Father God, as a servant you designed me to be, Father God, in the season of which I'm in, Father God, that I may bring that which you have given me to come from your kingdom. Father, I declare the word right now according to the purpose and the power and the illumination of the Holy Spirit. I declare, Father God, that everything that I speak will be filtered through the power and the precious power of the Holy Ghost. Father God, I'm asking you to rule and reign that the tongue of this mouth or this priest begin to speak and declare that which you have given me under the season in which I'm in. And knowing to you, Father God, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and nothing will be able to stand. Father God, I'm asking you to let this word be an illuminated word. Let it be a word of wisdom, knowledge, direction, and understanding. That even as we go forth, Father God, that we may prosper and gain all that we need from the understanding which you have given me to give on to your people, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, for the woman of God, co-pastor Patty Ellis. I thank you, Father God, for the opportunity of the mentorship that's in my life, Father God. I want to go out to my good friend, Dr. Uh, J.C. Matthews, over at uh, J.C. Matthews Ministry, who's always um, in a position of pouring wisdom and knowledge and direction into me. All the other ministers and men of God who's been in my life to help me direct me to where I am today. 
I thank God that I got a teachable heart. And having a teachable heart, the Word of God declares you will go a long ways. I don't know if you can hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. Be to be patient in the season that you're in. Sometimes it may seem critical, Father God, but I believe in the name of Jesus Christ that your word said it would not go back void, but accomplish all that in. Father God, it continue to season me as I go forth, Father God, and everything that's not like you, Father God, I loose it in the name of Jesus, and I declare by the power of God, it's got to be doused. And I break every glass ceiling and every soothsaying voice, Father God, every negative tongue that ever tried to come against that which you declared this prophet to be in the season which I'm in. It's got to be loosed in the name of Jesus. I declare right now in the name of Jesus that it's already going forth. And by your power, by your illumination, Father God, by all that you have given me in the season in which I'm in, Father God, let it come forth. And I continue to launch out and do what you declared me to do, Father God, with the right direction to be the lamp under my feet, to speak the word in such a way that never been spoken before. Let it bring transformation, Father God, not just what's called tradition, but let it bring illumination, Father God. You say, behold, I will do a new thing, Father God. And you say, it will spring forth and they won't even know it. Father, I declare the word right now in the name of Jesus, that even as we move, Father God, you'll give me that what I need on today to speak unto your people, Father God, has been a priest of your kingdom, to declare all that you call me to do. Father God, speak over this, this prophet. Speak over the mouth of this, this, this ambassador, as you call me to be, Father God, in the season which I'm in. And let me realize and understand that you're God. And besides you, that's all. Father God, I'm asking you to look over me, Father God, even as I pray, Father God. And every word that I speak on today, Father God, that they be dedicated to the beautiful woman of God, Mary Earl Ellis, in my life, all my sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews, in the name of Jesus, touch them, Father God. Because they are part of the seed of the patriot that just recently left here going to see the kingdom of God. And knowing that she ran a race, Father God, is far beyond more than we can imagine even understand. Father God, she was a great woman of God, and she ran a great race, and I saw all the work that she'd done was a life-standing and upstanding event toward you. She believed, she declared, she decreed that, that we continue to go and do that what you called us to do as well. So, Father God, I thank you, Father God, as your, your kingdom draws closer, Father God, to bring those home, Father God, in the way you need to bring them home, Father God, that we may realize and understand that you're our God. And beside you, there's no other. I thank you for this opportunity. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, Father God, watch over this man of God, your priest, your prophet, your ambassador, your teacher, Father God, your spokesman as I go forth and do all that you commanded me to do on this afternoon that the word of God will go forth and it will not and it shall not go back void but it already has accomplished all that therein in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, I pray Lord amen it's, uh, it's always a good opportunity to be with you guys on this afternoon as I uh, get myself lined up here and kind of get myself in a position to just receive what God has given me to give on to you uh, and dealing with the area of just the area of uh, the seed, uh, the, the, the seed time and harvest. You know, one of the one of the actual uh, letters or one of the actual comments I put out there is that uh, you know, have you ever wondered, you know, what happened to the law of seed and reaping? What happened to the law of sowing and reaping? You know, uh, what happened to the law of seed time and harvest? You know, uh, how do I reap? You know, what was what is it that I need to sow to prosper? What is it, and how do I prosper? In other words, in other words, what is it that I'm sowing that will allow me to prosper? What, what kind of seed am I sowing? Now we can look at this from a, not even from a biblical sense. You know, you know, so the saying says you, you know, whatever you reap is what you sow. We talk about the process of in the book of uh, Matthew talks about the judge he that he may be judged. You know, whatever you meet out, it goes the same thing with what comes out of your hand. You know, the Word of God declares when we look over in the book of Corinthians, and we don't want to go too far, of course, here, but we want to get some, just going to get some accuracy and, you know, solidification in the spirit to understand and realize that, that where we are today, God has commanded us 